Greetings and welcome back one and all to Total War Warhammer. Still trying to say Total Warhammer. Right, we are of course the Vampire Counts and there is much to be done in East Sylvania. Now, if we have a look over here, I can build two new things. I can upgrade this and I can build something new. However, we already have within this province, because this province, East Sylvania, includes Castle Drakenhof, I guess this is your city, and then the towns of Eschen and Waldenhof. We already have a barrow. Or rather, we've already got a cemetery that's been upgraded to a barrow. We don't need that twice in the same um, province. And as I would like my unit building capabilities to be tied to my most defensible location, I am going to demolish it here. Whilst that's happening, we can build some things. Now, I, if I had the money, I could go for a defiled cairn, but again, I want that over there. We could have military support if I had enough money again. That would allow us to build some better military. I could build a better garrison. Currently, the garrison is fairly weak in Eshin. It's only six units, two diabats, two spearmen, and two zombies. But I could increase that to include a corpse pile, which would give us quite a few more things, and later on, a graveguard watchtower. However, I feel that at the moment, this is only really at risk because of Castle Templehof. I don't think we'll be at risk from it for too much longer as long as I play my cards right. So I'm going to avoid that for now. As for the infrastructure, there are four things we can do here. Tangle Vine Patch. When a vampire drinks an aged red from a wine glass, chances are it hasn't been made from grapes. Fantastic. Uh, wine resource production, 20 barrels. Public order, plus three. That would be nice. We can have a carnal pit. Um, or rather, a charnel pit. A carnal pit, charnel pit. Probably two very different things. Probably don't want to get those things mixed up or you're liable to be disappointed. Uh, unless... You know what? We're not going there. Uh, this mass grave acts like a locus for necromancers and their ilk, for it contains many fresh bodies ripe for recruitment. Growth, plus 20. We can have the Bellfire Brazier, often seen on corpse carts. Bellfire Braziers contain an infernal flame that spreads a foul contagion. Now, later on, that can be upgraded. Right now, we'll just increase vampire corruption within this province, which is, it's already maxed out. But later on, it starts spreading it to neighboring provinces. That would be good for our future expansions. It's a very strong contender, that one. But this one, the gibbet. I'm a very big fan of gibbets. Uh, repression. A common sight across Sylvania and beyond, the gibbet or hanging cage is where the living who displease their undead lords often end up. Income generated 100, public order plus one. I want more income. So we're going to be going with that. Now, as for our army, which is currently effectively besieging this area, I would Green very war. much like to pull you back, actually. Is Attack. that even possible? Because the thing is, I could attack right now, and I'm tempted to. It's going to be a harder fight. But 12 days of having my army tied up. Considering there's someone else we need to be killing right now. I mean, we could throw ourselves at it. There's a reasonable chance that we'd be able to, to fight them off. They've got a lot of units, a lot of zombies, some spearmen. They've got two heroes as well. Uh, they've got some dire wolves. They've got a crypt horrors, which are a bit nastier. Or I could pull back and wait for them to split up. And then pick them off when they're weaker. I mean, that would be the more sensible thing to do. But, uh, when was I ever sensible? Let's just get in there and start killing things. Uh, it's only a shame that they're not alive right now, really. I'm sure that my, my army would, would enjoy the opportunity to eat fresh meat. Eating dead meat just isn't the same. Right. Risk magic for more favorable winds? Um, no, I'm actually okay with the winds of magic as they are. Now, they're going to have the high ground, but that does not matter for us. Now, I need to get my units set up. I'm going to... You know what? Sure. I will have... An infantry and bats moving together on each side. It might be the worst possible combination of them, but uh, we'll find out. Uh, next up, we've got some direwolves. I would like my direwolves to move as a group. Because I just think they're going to be more 
effective if I'm moving them up and then just having them plow into things. Die wolves are war beasts. Now, I don't know if war beasts... Uh, wolves, hounds, and other beasts bred for war. Their claws and jaws can crack skulls, but they, sh they struggle against decent armor. I mean, they're not going to have flank attacks, I don't think. I might be wrong, though. Vanguard deployment... Uh, causes fear. This unit frightens enemies. Vanguard deployment. This unit can be deployed outside the deployment zone. What? Okay. Um, what else have they got? Hides in forest, undead, crumbling, uh, causes damage to self, disintegrating causes severe damage to self. That's basically when their leadership is down. Do any of these have those abilities? No. Frenzy. Some warriors care not for their own personal safety and so work themselves into a whirlwind of destruction and mindless violence. Oh, I like the sound of that. I do. Truly, I do. Okay. But yeah, I, I think we'll have my die wolves. How far out? Like, really? That's silly. That's silly and glorious. Sure. I'll have my, uh... Uh, I'll have my hounds fairly far out over on that side. Um, we'll just try and harass targets of opportunity. You know what? There, there is a, an outside chance that that isn't going to be the best combination. Uh, I would like you to come out of there. They can't go over there, though, can they? No. Thinking about it. I was, I, what I was thinking about doing there was having my uh, hounds. Can I not? Oh, that's fine. I was going to have my one hound and one bat on each side, but it doesn't look like that's going to be an option. So, you know what? I'm going to hedge my bets. One pack of hounds is going to have easy access to the enemies flanks, and it'll be glorious. Right. Crypt Horrors. I would actually like you grouped up with one zombie and one skeleton. I'm going to group these into fairly big units of mixed attackers, and I'll be fine. And then you guys will all be grouped as a separate group. He'll be over here. There we are. Generally, I'll want the zombies to go first. So once we're actually within position, I'll probably be changing the groups whilst the game is paused and just have things set up a little bit better. But this is mostly for getting my troops into a battle. And on that point, I'm going to have Manfred join them. And I will have you join them. Go. The Vargulf. The Vargulf means my group. Okay. Right, let's see where the enemy are. Okay, right, let's pause things. The enemy field flying troops, my lord. Oh no! Bring them down if they approach your forces. How exactly? You don't let me have any archers, you scallywag. Uh direwolves, zombies, zombies, crypt ghouls. Let's go all the way out. Come on, come on. There we go. That's a bit better. So we've got die wolves, zombies, zombies, crypt ghouls, foul bats, spearmen, crypt horrors, casual infantry, spearmen, just l skeletons, and lots of zombies, I imagine. There's primarily going to be zombies over here. Mm, spearmen, foul bats, zombies, crypt ghouls, zombies. Okay, right. Well, given that then... Uh, you know what? No. Just move in a little bit. Just move a little bit tighter. Where the others are quite far away from the fight. Um. Because they, they've definitely... They're much more set up on this side. Right. This whole group. Hmm. Kind of want to pick a side to attack, really. But I think this side will actually be the easier one to hit. So I'm going to have my Valgolf head down here. But I do want my uh, main unit moving with them. That is Manfred. 
I want, I want to be able to tie up the army on this side if I have to. How are they moving on this one? Are they moving at all? They're not. Or are they, are they repositioning? They're kind of repositioning a bit. Okay, yeah, they're repositioning a lot. I need to split the armies. That is my goal here. Slow down time. Go ahead, attack. Just hit them head on. Just engage them if you can. You can go for the bats. There we go. Foul bats swooping down. We'll see how that goes. Now, how are things on this side? Looks like they are actually... Centralizing, they're not splitting. That is a bit of a shame. But one nice thing here is that I don't have to worry about them shooting me if I'm just close, but not engaging them because they have no means to do so. And that is very nice. Alright, let's get the Vargov up there as well. How are things going over here? Yeah, those bats are going down pretty hard. And the wolves are almost already gone. Yeah, let's keep on the push. All right, the wolves are gone. Fantastic. Go ahead and meet them. Actually, go up and around. And you just swoop in. Go. Can you attack them? Not easily, it doesn't seem. Are we able to smash into the side of them at all? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's get up there. Oh, wow. They are losing leadership very, very fast. We've got a small group of them detached. They're spreading out a bit here. I'm trying to watch too many things at once, and I do apologize about that. However, we are also starting to lose leadership over here. It's starting to recover, actually. Looking at it, they... Oh, right, okay. They didn't like being separated, by the seams of it. They're crumbling already. That is great. Alright. Let's move you forward a little bit more. Spread those out. In fact, time to start spreading quite thin to ensure that we don't get... Spread out a little bit too... Okay, that's not good. You guys pull back. Pull back right now if you can. Pull out of this fight. That is not a fight you want to be in anymore. Go, 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 go. Ah, I've already lost those die wolves, I fancy. That's right, you distract them. And the die wolves, I think... Yeah, damn it. That's annoying. All right. Let's get you up there. Get that leadership over there. This is going to be a nasty fight over here for us to sustain. I'm going to pause it for a moment. Got another group heading in. They're going to start pressing them quite firmly. If we could get up there, that would be grand. Um, my cudgel infantry. Try and just dissuade them if you can. How are things going down here? We haven't really engaged. Okay, it's time for us to get in. So, die wolves, I want you to just hurl yourselves at the enemy there. Die bats, do much the same. My vargeists, do much the same. As for everyone else, let's get you guys up here. Same there. At this point, I think we could probably do with changing the groupings, but I'm a little bit concerned about doing that. Right, let's have a look at how this is going. Starting to lose a bit of health on my Vargeist, which is not good. Manfred, can you please drop some healing on the Vargeist? 
That is grand. Right, my troops are moving in and they're moving in quickly, which is good to see. It's not exactly going to be the best engagement here. In fact, you know what? Let's plow into the back of them while they're on their move. Don't worry about the others. Just everyone charge in and just hit that one like a rock. Go. You're way too far behind. Right, they're starting to reorganize. Go ahead there and prevent the flank, please. Just get involved. Start killing. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. That should cut them down pretty handily. Ooh, Vargulf. Don't really want you being there right now. How are things going over on this side? Right, you can afford to uh, come in from the side. Would you please do that? There we are. I've almost got this one down. In fact, I've got bats ready to engage. Let's get them involved. Manfred, gonna need some more healing up on you. On my units here, thank you. There we go. We should be able to just wipe these ones out fairly handily here. Oh, that's right, just engage. We're gonna be slightly flanked here, unfortunately, but now they are properly starting to. Uh, hit into us at this point, which is not good. Ooh, my lord, how did I let that happen? Like a derp is the answer to that question. Right. Get involved. I have not been paying enough attention, clearly. Why are you not in the fight yet? Right, you're ready. They're gone. Get over there. My bats are going down pretty hard, actually. Those diabats have already passed. Okay. Just get in there. Spread out a bit. Would love it if we wouldn't get flanked, but I've got a funny feeling that there's not much I can do about that one. Oh, we're losing. A lot of our units over there. There's quite a lot of people fighting on this side, though. Right. Actually, I would like you to go for him. Use that ability. Try and deal a lot of damage in one shot, if you could. You've got some healing, so apply that on yonder group, please. Have we actually done any damage yet? Oh, you've got to get into position. That's annoying. Come on, guys. Finish him off. Okay, well, I really should have had you just stay there. I didn't realize you were going to have to walk all the way away. Kind of annoying. But we are definitely losing this in terms of our overall... Uh, leadership here. That is not a good thing. You're a million miles from everything else. Why are you moving so slow? You tired? Oh, these of course are zombies, aren't they? Or are they? No. Yes, they are. Of course they're zombies. That's why they're taking breath. Okay, this group is doing fairly well. I would like you to go down there and engage if you would be so kind. We're doing all right up here. Your warriors tire, mighty lord. Your exertions okay. dull their ability to fight. Give them time to rest. No rest for the wicked, and we are nothing if not wicked. Okay. 
go. Just finish him off, please. In fact, at this point, you can just go and wade into them over there. Manfred, go charge down that lord. Ah, oh, they're encircling us. That's not a good time. In fact, if we can charge down that lord, it would be a good time to do so. Uh, where are you? We got you in this fight, probably. Not really, and that is a really bad time. Uh, can you hit him? Do it, please, if you can. Okay, zombies are entering the fray. That is good. Not so great up here, though. Where is my second unit? Let's get some healing down. We should... Ah, it's the, the crypt horrors, I think, that are causing me the most problem over there. Okay, we do not need this many units. Get up here and engage. Flat, I don't need all these units here anymore. I mean, it's going to make it very quick. We don't need them. We might be able to save some more of my units if I can get them up there fast enough. Where's Manfred? And their lord. Just get in there if you would be so kind. In fact, just get in there and plow into the side of them. Same here. How are they doing? They're almost gone at this point, but we have sustained a lot of casualties there. This is going to be another Ferric victory, I suspect. Right, let's uh, speed up time a little bit. Sorry for playing this for so long in uh, slow down. It's just I'm trying to get used to watching the battle. I can't move out as much as I would have expected for a game with this kind of scope, honestly. I'm kind of tied to watching from just little tiny little vantage points, and it's actually remarkably difficult. Necromancer. Okay. Cover there, please. That'd be very great. Right. I would like you. Wait in. Manfred has joined the fray proper. Let's get you up, around, and then in. Up, and down. Up, around, down. Lost a couple of my units, but it's just the way it's going to have to be, unfortunately. Charge in there. Same thing. There we go. We should be okay. I think we've got the enemy general. Fantastic. Okay, slow this down. I think we've wiped out everything over here. Yes, we have. Oh! We've ended the battle. Very well. Won the battle, but do not celebrate too much, for the gods will look ill upon he who came so near to defeat. Yeah, we lost a lot there. A lot more than I was expecting. 758. Granted, we destroyed over 2,000, almost 2,500. But it was not as good of a victory as I would have liked. The dead rise again. Hooray. As has been disbanded. Top troops killed. 160 enemy captured. Uh, not great. Not great. Uh, let's go ahead and occupy. Dieter the Stickler. Dieter the Stickler, our enemy belonging to Templehof, has perished in the Battle of Waldenhof, Eastern Sylvania. We have attained complete control of this province. It is now possible to issue a commandment across the land. Treasurer! While they started off as a destitute noble of Stirland, since becoming undead, the von Karstens have accumulated great wealth. The treasurer is in charge of the master vaults. Income from vampire crypts and vampire keeps, plus 8% local region. Oh. 
Very nice. Follow a game. Grave digger. Pass me my spade. I'm looking for gallows bait. A raise dead cost. Minus 7%. Wow. We actually got quite a lot from that. Impress me. We've got huge amounts of replenishment going on. That I like. Can't raise the dead, unfortunately, but uh, that's just the way it's going to be. And we did lose some of our more powerful units. Does make me sad. But on the plus side, I think I will actually take a uh, third Vargeist for this one. Yeah, I quite like the idea of that. We're slowly replacing the troops in my army. Now, let's have a quick look down here. Details. Follow. We've got the treasurer. And we've got the grave digger. Alright. Well, that wasn't uh, too terribly bad, I guess. Alright. Life leeching. Uh, passive ability. Life leeching. Great increase to power reserve. Greatly improved power recharge rate. Spell caster who practices death magic can channel the life force of foes into their spells. Uh, duration constant around self, casting map wide. Aspect of the Dread Knight. An invisible aura of horror surrounds the wizard's allies. Only the bravest foes now stand before them. Aspect of the Dread Knight. And course, Hera. We've already got that, basically, on everything. Harness the sickly power of Shilish. The wizard weakens his foes will survive the battle. Minus 8 to leadership, minus 15 to armor, minus 22 to missile damage and weapon damage. That is nice. And Doom and Darkness. Uh, type duration 29 seconds, enemy minus 16 leadership. Spirits of the departed assail the wizard's foes, sapping their resolve and causing dread amongst their numbers. Now that actually could be quite good because if we can drop the leadership of a group of undead enough, they'll just start dying of their own accord, effectively. So that is actually really nice, but this one I'm not sure which would be the better one. That one lasts for a lot longer but this one has affects enemies in range 200 meters ground enemy uh instantly affects targets in the area effect range is 30 meters it's reasonable you could probably hit a couple of groups with that drop their leadership by half but also massively drop their missile and weapon damage that might actually be a pretty nice one to have um genuinely a pretty nice one to have. Greatly increased the power reserves, greatly improved power recharge rate. Mm. No, I, I quite like this one. I think we're going to go with Soul Blight. So there we go. Now let's actually have a look at Manfred. Missile resistance, 15%. Resilience, this unit is immune to the following types of attrition. Vampire territory causes fear. Encourage this unit, provides a leadership bonus to nearby art. Allies, units within range of both the Lord's Aura and the Encouraging Unit will receive the larger of the two bonuses. Hide in forests, undead, crumbling, the hunger replenishes HP of combatants. Uh, disabled if leadership is broken, that's a, basically a constant aura. Disintegration, soul blight, spirit leech, invocation of Nehek, and master of the black arts improved power recharge rate. Okay, well that was all very good. What about you, though? Let's have a quick gander at you, shall we? Have you got anything else I can give you? Oh, I could give you this, but there's no, really no point. Mount. Character will be on foot unless given a mount or required to be mounted by default. Mounts can be obtained via spending skill points on the relevant skill. Ah. Don't tell me I missed this opportunity. What is the relevant skill? Uh, this rank will ultimate quest for the Sword of Unholy Power, unique. Uh, requires rank 8. Barbed Nightmare. Oh, right, okay, so I've got to be a certain level and I can get these mounts. Okay, that's, that's pretty bloody awesome. I like it. I want it now. Yeah, rank 9 for that. Prime Mover. Action construction cost is modified by additional te minus 10%. Deploy own province. Reduce construction now. Um, I mean, I've already got this, but I'll go for it and I'll start building up your spells for combat. We're going to just build you into a combat unit, I think. Alright. 
Well, this that is a did not go too poorly. And we now have a new province. One that we don't need this in. So we'll get rid of that. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Minus 28 is going up by 2. What about Ashen? Minus 28. I, I imagine that's the same with all of them. Okay, we're bringing in a little bit more cash now than we were before. Bit of a long battle. I'm really sorry that I spent so long in that one just with it at half speed, just sliding the camera left to right. I'll get a little bit more accustomed to the way that this game plays, but I'm used to games where when you're dealing with massive armies with hundreds and hundreds of units, you can move kind of more seamlessly between, yeah, I'm just over the, the shoulder of my my combatants I'm, and I'm watching a specific skirmish on the battlefield right now to I'm basically looking down from space because I am God. I can see everything. All of the information is at my fingertips and I can move my entire army and make them dance to my will and can't really do that as seamlessly in this game. So uh, me... It'll be, take me a little bit of uh, time to get used to that, but hopefully it was still fun to watch nevertheless. But until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.